This is Fox 6 News. Now at 10, a Fox 6 exclusive. I'm a Marine Corps veteran. You know, I would have done it for anybody. This man didn't intend to be a hero today, but his being at the right place at the right time saves a woman's life. That is tonight's big story. A knight not in armor, but well armed. A Marine Corps veteran stops a man from nearly kicking a woman to death early this morning. Fox 6's Henry Rossoff is live in West Dallas with this Fox 6 exclusive to show you why this hero says Wisconsin recently passed concealed carry law and made his efforts possible, right, Henry? Indeed it did. Uh, Charlie Blackmore was driving here along Lincoln, headed home from work at 4 in the morning when he saw something on the sidewalk. He soon realized it was a woman on the ground getting kicked in the face and the stomach, so he pulled over, jumped out of his car, and did something about it. I said, stop, and he starts walking towards me. That's when I drew on him. Blackmore holds his gun on the suspect and calls West Dallas police. The Marine Corps veteran says several times while they're waiting for law enforcement, the attacker moves toward him. He was a big individual and I wasn't playing around and he didn't seem like he was playing around. So I, I made it quite clear to him that if he did come at me, I would have to take him down. Blackmore says police eventually show up and have to force the suspect to the ground. Then they ask to see his concealed carry permit. And I put my hands up, turned around, said, you know, he grabbed out my wallet. Checked my concealed carry, gave me my wallet, my wallet back, and then they, you know, interviewed me for their paperwork. The West Dallas police chief tells us the paperwork is not yet available. For that reason, we don't know the name of the attacker or his victim. She had a really big laceration by her eye. Blackmore doesn't catch any names either. Well, the victim tells him the man is an ex-boyfriend. He was stalking her that day or something, and then he attacked her on her way to work. Blackmore says situations like that are exactly why he supports Wisconsin's relatively new concealed carry law and the rights of gun owners. We do do good things. There's not, not all of us are bad or crazy gun nuts. You know, there are good people out there. The West Dallas police chief tells us intervening is a decision each gun owner has to make for him or herself. While they don't encourage it, they say the gun owner needs to be ready to handle the consequences if things go badly. Live in West Dallas, Henry Rossoff, Fox 6 News. All right, Henry, thank you. New tonight, the needle and the damage done. Deputies say a man crashed his truck after shooting heroin as he drove. How do they know this? It was caught on camera. Jenna Sachs has the video and reaction from the suspect's mother. A DOT camera shows the pickup truck on I-43 westbound near...